Mom, oh no. Oh no. Uh, wait, Mom. Wait, no, no, this is know. from the cats. Yeah. Here we are. Somehow he convinced Liza to do this. And I'm truly honored that Ben and Liza have asked me to officiate their wedding today. I'd like to take some credit for all of us <laughs> being here today. <laughs> After all, I gave Ben the ever important roommate seal of approval the night that I met Liza. Ben is a special, loyal, one-of-a-kind person with conviction and the biggest of hearts. In Liza, he's met not only his companion, but his match. Liza, you are my best friend, a role model, one of my biggest supporters, and my partner in all things involving wine. I didn't think it was possible for you to find someone just as amazing as you, also didn't think it was possible for you to find some of the cats just as much as you. Ben, you bring the calm to Liza Storm. You're the best cat dad a girl could ask for. And you know what it takes to nurse Liza back to health on Sundays. An endless supply of Chardonnay. You are the most patient, caring, loving person I know. And I'm so happy to have you in my life. Oh, yay! Oh my God, we framed our map. I love that. Happy wedding day. I absolutely cannot believe the day is here. What promises to be the best day of our lives. I have never felt luckier in my life. I truly cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I can't wait to marry you. I love you, Liza. Oh my God. Holy shit. Wow. My former colleague, fellow cilantro hater, travel buddy, decent skier, and most importantly, my amigo for life. You have a heart of gold, make people feel instantly at ease, and I really felt that was the most important thing to express to everyone. I am proud to be your friend, and I've been more happy how it makes to see you and that you shared that heart of gold with Liza. It's not every best man who gets to say that he's friends with both the groom and the bride, and that's been a lot to me throughout the years. It's been such a joy spending time with you laughing with you, and letting you try to convince me that maybe cats really aren't that bad. Mom, we wanted to write about how thankful we are for occasionally cleaning our poops, but Dad said we had to write something from the heart, whatever that is. <laughs> we could not be more excited to finally be a legitimate family. We might even consider screaming about it less at 5 a.m., since that's what we've been trying to tell you all this time. <laughs> But seriously, thank you for everything. The snuggles, the belly rubs. <laughs> uh, gosh, you do a lot for us, but it's why we know that when you and dad eventually, <laughs> he's crossed so much stuff out here, being a, a small human to this world. What? Oh, bring a small human into this world. Oh, come on, Bean. You're going to be the best mom because you already are. Now we've been secretly been saving our allowances and stealing some of your stocks to <laughs> pay for this gift. We even sold our toys, but we knew this day was a big one. We love you with all our hearts, and I hope you like it. Oh my god! Oh, yay! I wanted one of these. Uh, the cats know what's up. Kenny Chesney does a ballad called Don't Blink, and if I was the third co-writer on, on that song, I'd polish this up, but it would be something like, 
don't blink. You try and inspire that little girl, you wake up one day and you realize she's a grown woman and she inspires you. So tenacity and grace and self-reliance is what inspires me. If I don't do anything else, I just want to love you well. If I don't do anything else, I just want to love you well, love you well. If I don't do anything else, I just want to love you well. And to you, Ben, your positive attitude, I know so many people have touched upon it, but your consistent positive attitude. Lord knows the world needs more of that. Over six years ago, you came rushing into my life out of nowhere and completely upended my reality. Over months of long distance runs after work, only getting longer so I could spend more time with you, I began to reveal myself to you and you did to me. Over those months, I felt that I'd woken up. For the first time, I felt that I could be loved for who I am and not for who I pretended to be. Fast forward to years later, and that feeling has grown stronger every single day. You are my everything. Over our years together, you have taught me a great many things. The meaning of companionship, what genuine kindness and patience looks like, and how to always see the best in people. You are the most loyal person I have ever met. But of all the things you have taught me, the most profound and omnipresent one is what it means to be unconditionally loved. Your amazing qualities are only outdone by the impact you have on the world around you. I have never met a person people gravitate towards and trust in like you. You are the most intelligent, thoughtful, trustworthy, humble, and beautiful person I know. Your laughter is infectious and your compassion is limitless. When the day comes, I cannot wait to see what an amazing mother you make. Got this. You're doing it. Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs>
From your one-time roommate to you two forever roommates, I wish you nothing but a lifetime of love so strong that you miss each other when you're in the next room.